Guys, we're New Season Church. Thank you so much for watching and for tuning in on our broadcast. We pray that God will bless you and truly really transform your life by the teaching and preaching of God's Word. I pray you enjoy yourself through the worship, through the Word of God, and New Seasons Church is a church that wants to help you transform your life to God's glory. We pray that you have a great time. If you have any issues, please email us, or email us on the website. We might be able to best support you and serve you. Once again, thank you so much for watching our service, and may God bless you. In any way. He used Nehemiah. Nehemiah was just an, a layman, just a cupbearer. And God was, you're going to use Nehemiah to do something amazing. Someone here today, God is going to use you to do something amazing. But you're going to say, God, will you please use me? And don't be afraid of what that means. It's, it, <laughs> it's not on your counter. And God, just, and God see, sometimes God will raise your counter and put his own thing in there. You're sitting there fighting God, but God, 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 God said, you, you do know I, rule, I run things up in here, right? You can't erase God's calendar. Come on, somebody here. Eyes have not seen, ears not heard what I have in store for you. When God put them on your calendar, it's going to be up on the calendar. Pastor, how was Nehemiah committed? I didn't see. Well, how was he committed? He just prayed. Where's the commitment verse? We're well, here, verse 11. Look what he says. Oh, Lord, I pray. Please let your ears be attentive. Remember, and anthropomorphism the prayer of your servant, and to the prayers of your servants who desires to fear what? Ain't, it ain't about me being great. Let your servant prosper this day. I pray, says again, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I am what? So then I already said, God, you had me crying. You had me moaning. You had me in anguish about this wall. So you must want to use me about this wall. And I am the king's cupbearer. I'm put in for a reason. I've been placed in this job, in this school, in this, in this community. There must be a reason why I'm here. At this time, I wasn't born in, in the 50s. I wasn't born in the 30s. I wasn't born. I was born. This, there's got to be a reason why I was born at this time of the life. Why? Because God wants to use you. And you realize God can use you as a cupbearer. You can change the whole world. God, he, he prays. He prays now. Remember now, he prays in December. I mean, he prays in November. Watch this now. Nehemiah chapter 2 says here, it came to pass five months later. Some of us will stop praying two days. Five months later, 20th year of King Xerxes, when the wine was before him, I took the wine and gave the king. Now, he said, I've never been sad. Now, you know, the reason why he didn't do that, because you went to the king sad, you get, you get killed. You weren't supposed to go to the king looking, looking sad. You're supposed to be king. Hi, old great king. Hi. Because you go to the king sad, you're going to get killed. Because king be like, something wrong? Is the wine wrong? What's, what's up? You're the cupbearer. Is, it you, you, is this, this good wine? What's going on? But watch this. Now, here's what's, here's what's critical about some reason why some of, you, some of us in this room can't get blessed at our jobs. Check it out. The king says, um, hey, why is your face sad? You ain't sick. This is, not, this is nothing but what? Nehemiah, you, you a good worker. You come back to break on time. Don't call out. Don't cheat when you clock in. Fill all the paperwork out. Y'all don't hear me. <laughs> don't play video games on the computer. You a good employee. You a good worker. You come in happy. You come in ready to work. You come here ready to serve. You come in because you're working under the Lord, not, not to me. You a good person. You, you, this can't be but... The heart's wrong. When God calls us to a task, he equips us for it. You've already got the favor of God in you. Issue is, can the favor of God, you, can, can the favor, the favor of God is in you, can God use what's in you to bless those around you? Whatever God calls us to a task, he equips us for it. Pastor, I'm not ready. He don't care about that. Look, this here. Nehemiah came, watch this here. Nehemiah came to work, watch this here, sad. 
came to work, PD, sad. Some of y'all call out, I ain't feeling good. Came to work sad. But the moment of his sad turned to a moment of joy. Some of y'all quit at the moment of breakthrough. Sometimes you got you, you to gotta, you gotta push your way through the pain. Push your way through the darkness and say, God, if I just hang in there, you will make a way. So Nehemiah came to work sick, and this sickness became his health deliverance. Too many of us are quitting, are quitting when we're, oh, I'm tired. And, and, and people say, see, I can't trust you because you, you got no endurance. Every time something happens, you want to quit. You want to give up. No, Nehemiah came to work sick. Boss asked him what's wrong. And, 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 and Nehemiah, Nehemiah says here, he said, um, 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 king, may, may the king live ever. Why should my, now, now he asked him, he, now he, 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 this, Nehemiah was, he said, he said, he got in the king's face. The king, why should I be happy when the city that you put in captivity, the place of my father's tomb lies waste and the gates are burnt with fire? The king, that I, I don't conquered you. You my cover. You telling me this is my fault? King. Why should I be happy when, when the walls of Jerusalem are torn down and burnt down? Why, why, why should I smile? But notice what the king says. <laughs> then the king said, uh, what do you want? <laughs> you a good worker. You a faithful believer. What do you want? See, when you work faithful for God, at the right moment, at the right time, y'all don't hear me this morning. He says, he says, he says, he said, well, uh, uh, if it pleased the king, if your servant, watch this now, if your servant found favor, I come to, since I came to work on time, since I stayed late, I don't complain, don't take long breaks, I give you best reports, I'm, I'm always here, I, 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 I know, know John ain't always here, but I am, I stay late when you ask me to, I come early, I come to stay late, I, do, I, I work hard, I work real hard, I don't, I don't cheat the man, I do, I, do, I do real good, since I found favor in your sight, I asked you. Send me to Judah. Let me go praise the Lord right quick. Send me to Judah, the city of my father's tombs. That may rebuild it. Watch this here. Here's something, here's something that's powerful. Look at verse 6. Verse 6 says this here. This, this is so cool. This, this, I, 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 I read verse 6, I get happy. I'm, I'm show you why. Then the king said <laughs> to me, look at here. Then the king said to me, notice, what's in parentheses? Why is that important? You know who the queen was? Esther. Y'all missed that. Let me hold, 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 so, 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 verse 4, he said here, he said, verse 4, he said, he said, now, watch, 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 watch. In, in chapter 1, chapter 1, chapter 1, verse, first, chapter 1, verse um, 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 11, he said, he said, he said, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, I pray you please let your ear be attentive to the prayer of your servant and to the prayer of your servants who desires to fear your name. Let your servant prosper this day. I pray and grant him faith, mercy inside this man. Find the king, come bear. Pray that, pray that in the month of confidence. Right, pray, pray that to the month that God make a way. Then, then we shoot down here to, to shoot down here to verse four, and, and the king said, "What you want?" He said, "So I prayed." See, see, see what happens is this: this is what some of us do. See, some of us, see, some of us. See, the reason why some of us don't know, don't know how to pray because we don't. We, we, we pray, we pray, we pray, and we don't know how to pray. We pray, we, we pray, we, we pray these prayers that 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 require us to work. So, so, we, so we start praying. We start praying, Lord, um, please, please bless me. And, and, and we, and we got to have people um, keep our prayers up. And Lord, keep, keep do something great. And we keep, and see the prayers got to keep, see, see, yeah, we see everybody got to work hard. Keep, I'm praying for this little Lord. I'm, Lord, I need, 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 Lord, I need a job. And then we, we keep praying these prayers. And you keep the prayer up, and I keep the prayer up. See, see, oh, I got to keep the prayers up. And that's a whole lot of work. We're praying for, we're praying for a new car, praying for a new, a new wife, and praying for a new job. And we, we're praying for, we're praying for a money. We're praying for a better house. And, and we're praying for this. And, 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 and all, and all that, all that, all all that work's going on, and we're praying, and we're praying, and, 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 we're, and everybody involved in the prayer. But the prayer is in our strength, because you notice the prayer keep coming down. But there is a prayer. 
God, will you bless me? Will you take care of me? And, and, and if I just pray to God, God just to take my prayer to a whole nother level, and I don't have nobody work, no, I don't need your help when it comes to God's prayer. God just go right up to the top and say, I got you. Just, just call on my name, and I got you. And the prayers go up to God without your assistance. And I don't need you to answer my prayer. I don't need you to help me with my prayers. I don't need you to come and help me with my prayer, because why? I serve a God, and here's, here's a prayer. Here's the one near my praise. Lord, um, Lord, I, you know, Lord, I prayed you in, in verse 11, um, that find favor. Months go by. Did, did, did he forget? No. Lord, um, Lord, I trust you. Um, I don't want to stand how it was going on. And, and Lord, I pray to you. And, and it's, 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 it's two months. Okay. Lord, I, I know you're faithful. I know you're real. I know I'm going through it in, in, in four months. Here's, you know how the prayer Gotta be way up here. So God can take this prayer and orchestrate it. Because see, all we see is the stuff down here. And when you pray a real prayer, a prayer that God gonna answer, gotta be, gotta be way up there. Because he gonna do something with 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 with, with King XC's first wife. <laughs> Y'all hear him, y'all hear him, y'all hear me. Because cause the first wife didn't come down to the king, and they said, give it up. See, 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 that's that prayer. He said, yeah, I, I'm here. See, then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he said, Esther, you go, you, 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 you join the beauty pageant. Yes, I, I, I'll be in the beauty pageant. And all of a sudden, she become the queen. That, that, that's the same prayer that, 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 that's up there. That, that, that prayer is up there. And then, then, and then, then, then you still praying. Lord, you still hear me. I, 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 hear, you, I hear you. And, and then, all of a sudden, then all of a sudden, she, she the queen. I'm praying for God's hand. And the queen is sitting next to the king. Where, where, where my queen's at? Y'all know how did the king do certain things. Come on, somebody up in here. And the queen was sat beside him and said, now the queen was, was Esther to who? A Jew. Y'all don't, don't hear me. God will move heaven and earth on your behalf. When you trust God and let God be God, God will, God's a good chess player. Same thing, he got you, and God said, oh, no, I got one more move. <laughs> I got one more move. See, I'm seeing things that Satan can't see. I'm seeing things that, I, cause see, eyes can't see, ears can't hear what I got planned for you, because why? I am high and lifted up. My glory fills the temple. And when you trust me, I can see things you don't see. And all you got to do is pray and then access the prayer. It ain't, it, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> the prayer ain't going nowhere. I can access. I can. <laughs> is that you, Lord? Yeah, that's me. Okay, cool. And, and so, so, so I, I, I don't got to keep praying. I don't got to keep praying, Jeremiah. I don't pray. I'll keep running back and pray. Lord, give me a job. Give me a job. Give me a job. Give me a job. But I don't pray already. Okay, I'm sorry, Lord. Let's get back on here. No. When he prayed in verse, when he prayed in verse four, here's why some of y'all mess up. From verse four, you start doubting. You start having fear because you feel like God has not answered your prayer. Because he said on this day, right? When God is in delay mode, that activates your development mode. Y'all missed it, y'all missed it, y'all missed that. What you mean, Pastor? Look, 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 look at the text, look at the text, look at the text. Text says, he says in verse 5, he said, um, tell you what, he said, um, let me go rebuild the temple if I found favor in your sight. He said, I need some stuff. He said, how long are you going to be gone? I gave him a time. I gave him a plan. I gave him what I needed. If God was going to bless you right now, so you got a plan. How many of y'all done pray some prayers as a child? And God still got the prayers up there, but you ain't developed yet. 
Because guess what? The, <laughs> these prayers are right here. And those prayers about me, myself, and I. Ain't trying to help nobody. I want to get paid. I want to make it. It's all about me. It's just my, my hot air. These, these pre blooms here were blown by my breath. This here, I put something special in these ones here. God says, let my Holy Spirit take your prayers. And when you put the Holy Spirit in your prayer, they go all the way to the top. And he's waiting on you. You're at the right place at the right time to bless you. And he'll set people at the right place at the right time. Y'all don't, y'all don't. <laughs> <laughs> Esther was right there. The queen didn't show up only but for major events. She wasn't just come to regular dining with the king. She had her own separate things. Why was she there on this day? Y'all don't hear me. Why? Because I prayed in chapter one. And I trusted you. Chapter two. Some of y'all prayed in chapter 10. God didn't show up in chapter 15. He said, He ain't there. God said, Oh, I'm, I'm still there, but you're not ready. Chapter 30, God, where you at? I'm still, I'm still there. But see, watch this here. See these weights? There's some weights on, on these things here. And, um, and some of y'all, you got prayers. You got prayers, right? I'm, I'm, you got prayers, right? Your, prayers is, your prayer is being prayed, but your prayer got so much weight on it. Am I helping somebody this morning? And because the weight of the prayer, and see, when you pray to God, you got to let it go. And, and let, let, let it do what it, see, let it do what it do. See, no matter what, I, no matter how, it just, it's just going to do what it's do. But see here, some of y'all got prayer that you're putting a lid, you're putting a lid on your prayers. If I took this, if I took this balloon and put it outside, who knows where to go? Why? Because it's feel. Some of y'all pray, got prayers that only seal and high. There's prayer. But the level up there. The whole nother level. God's saying, will you let me work your life up here while you be faithful down here? Y'all, 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 y'all missed that. Let me work up here. If you stay faithful down here, right when you need me, I'll bring this prayer down to you. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't miss, y'all miss, y'all miss that. But can you let God You still want to control it. And sometimes the illusion looks good. It's going somewhere, but I got to keep working. I got to keep working. No, since it's still seven, I ain't touched that prayer over there, and that prayer is still where? I ain't work. I, it, it's working by itself. See, sir, 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 I got I to gotta, I gotta work this balloon. I got I to keep, keep it up. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, oh, my God. But that prayer over there, it's still up there. Why? Because that's a God prayer there. How many people here are praying like this? Making your prayers work versus God, I don't know how, I don't know when. Even if the the corn don't come back, even if God, oh king, even if he don't save us. He will take care of me. No, 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 no matter what I do, I, I, I can pull it down, but the prayer just keep going up, y'all. y'all don't, because why? That's the kind of God we serve. Somebody here today. Here, 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 Pastor, how, how do I get there? This relationship of prayer begins with hearing, hearing the word of God. Acknowledging it, 
truth. Then making an intellectual decision to establish what? Those prayers are connected to me because I'm connected to Jesus. So the question is, are you willing to give your life to God? Let him take your prayers and let him orchestrate what he needs to do for your life. Esther wasn't there by happenstance. God designed the whole thing just for Nehemiah. Has God ever did something for you that, that, that messed you up? Yain, yain. Anybody here ever, ever, God, you said, God, how in the world? God said, I was, I was doing some things for you. <laughs> <Y'all don't... laughs> Jeremiah, Jeremiah they, 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 they don't understand Jeremiah. Petey, it had to be the hand of God. Because God brought this person in my life, he brought that person in my life, he made that move, he made this move, all of a sudden, oop, there it is, and God made a way out of nowhere because why? I had a prayer, grandma, grandma prayed, that, some of them prayers ain't my prayer, them is grandma prayers, and grandma prayers said, will you save my grandchild, keep, and, and, and God said, since grandma prayed, I'm going to keep you, when you're a fool, when them gunshots come, you're jumping out of windows and, and running through cars, I'm going to keep you, keep you, because why? Your grandma said, will you keep that child, because that child is an anointed child, that child, is going special. That child and God in his amazing wisdom his, said, 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 no matter what you do, how much you scatter yourself, I'm going to keep you. I tried my best to run. But grandma's prayers kept me tied to God. Somebody here this morning, you've been running. You try to figure out why it's so hard. You know why? Grandma's prayers. Mama's prayer. Somebody's wife's prayers up there. Somebody's kids' prayers up there. And God's saying, You're next. You ready for me to use you? Because you're next. You're the next Nehemiah. You're the next David. You're the next Peter. You're the next Sarah. You're the next Mary. You're the next Martha. You're the next. Are you ready to respond to the prayers that saints have been praying for you since you was born? Today is your day. Today is your day to say, Lord, here am I. Send me. This morning I'm asking you a question. Are you willing to trust God enough to say, Lord, I'm ready. I'm not qualified by man's terms, but since you called me, you equip me for the call. I may not be ready, God, but I'm going to show up. I may not be trained completely in my own mind, but I'm going to show up. This morning, God wants to ask you a question. Do you believe that I preach the truth this morning? Is believing the truth important enough for you? Is that truth important to you? If that truth is important enough for you to believe today, accept Christ as your Savior. You're here this morning. You want to come know God as your personal Lord and Savior. God wants to use you. God wants you because you're next. You are next. Everything you've been through was for a divine reason to help someone get to their journey. But you got to accept that you're next. The Father, in the name of Jesus, there's someone here this morning who doesn't know you and the part of their sins. They say today, God, God, I'm ready. I'm tired of running. I'm tired of hiding. God, I'm here. You're here this morning. You want to come to know Christ as your personal Lord and Savior at your seat. All you got to do, just like tag, just lift your hand and say, Lord, tag me so I can be it. You're here this morning. You want to be saved. You want to come to Christ. You want to start the amazing adventure of God in your life. Come here. Just raise your hand and say, Pastor, I-, I need to be saved. I need to come to Christ. If that's you, please raise your hand this morning. 
Secondly, I see your hand, girl, brother. God bless you. I see your hand. God bless you. You're here this morning. You're here this morning, and, and, and you were once in church, and, and here's, what, here's what happened. You got a church hurt. Somebody in the church hurts you. You say, I'm never going back. But you find yourself here this morning. God says, you're next. Get past them and look to me. Come on home to me. I got you. You're here this morning. You want to come back to God, my prodigal son or my prodigal daughter. You're here this morning. Pastor, I need to come home. I'm tired of, I'm tired of running. I, I know better. I'm going to do better. You're here this morning. You want to come back home. Please raise your hand. Come on back home. And lastly, you're a believer. You know God. You don't have a church home. Everybody needs a place, fellowship, restoration, cultivation, and discipleship. I would love to be your pastor, to guide you, to teach you through not my words, but through the words of the living God. I teach precept by precept, line by line, that you would grow by his word and not by mine. I would love to be your servant, love to walk with you on this journey. If you're here this morning and God says, this is home, this is the family God wants you to be part of, to grow with. If you're here this morning and be part of our church family, please raise your hand. I need, part, I, need a, I need a family. I need a church home. That's you. Please raise your hand and be part of our family. Raise your hand and be part of our family this morning. We take you just, don't change nothing because you might change the wrong thing. Just raise it just the way you are. Be part of our family. Father, bless those this morning who, who may come. Bless those who have raised their hand. And to God be the glory what you're doing in our lives in this day. It's in Jesus' name to pray. Amen. Come and give God some praise. Come on.